Hey, welcome back to another video. Happy to have you here. My name is Blake. This is Merge Campus. We talk about Merge by Amazon strategies uh, and and tactics to to take our merge business to the next level. Um, so today we're going to jump into Merge Informer and exploring the international marketplaces of the UK and Germany with a new update that they released uh, in the Merch Hunter, right? Which basically can sort the best-selling merch shirts. Uh, it's pretty amazing. Um, so if you don't have Merch Hunt, uh, sorry, the, this, this whole software, Merch Informer, uh, that's fine. There's still some nice principles and strategies that you will learn uh, just from watching this. Uh, and also hopefully it'll convince you if you're serious about your merch business to to look into it in the future but there's a lot of people who crush it without merch informer as well right it's just a nice handy tool uh, to support uh, your your research process and i use it a lot so without further ado let's jump right in here merch hunter now the great thing about these two marketplaces is that they're pretty untapped relative to the US. The US has been around for what, three years nearly? And so a lot of the markets and the niches have been explored and saturated. Uh, that is not to say that they're all uh, fully uh, competitive, not at all. If you read Michael Essany's Merchant Mentor newsletter, uh, he's constantly talking about different ways to enter what he calls micro niches uh, with these kind of strange, uh, let's say not so mainstream uh, sub markets, but that can, can net you one, two sales per month per design across thousands of designs can be a very nice uh, model, right? But the great thing about this is um, that a lot of the, the markets have not actually been tapped yet because they just released, uh, they just opened these marketplaces a couple of months ago. Now, also keep in mind, and this is actually very important, that the traffic that these two sites are getting uh, is very different to uh, what uh, Amazon.com is getting. So, so let's just use this website really quick. Similar web. I'm going to write Amazon.de. Okay. And so the significance of this is pretty important. So the total visits per month is 500 million to Germany. Okay. Now let's check Amazon.co.uk. So now to the UK is about uh, pretty similar, 50 million less. And then we just go to Amazon.com. And we're, we're pushing two and a half billion. So on average, just traffic wise, we're getting five X more traffic to amazon.com. So it, it, your chances of, of being seen are, are five times more likely. Uh, I, I'm, that's the way I think about it. That may not be correct, but you, you basically have five times more visitors passing through the site. That's the first layer. The second layer is that in general, American consumers, the demographic, are much higher buyers like they buy more stuff that's what we do here in America uh, compared to Europe so Amazon is also a much more uh, ingrained aspect of our lives here we go to do we buy our laundry detergent on Amazon we buy uh, supplements we buy pretty much everything um, so it's it's a much more it's a bigger aspect of our life here than it is in Europe as far as I'm aware of okay so just keep that in mind that from what I'm seeing based on my sales Amazon.com far exceeds UK and DE. But it's like if you have the option to put existing designs there or even just enter new markets there, it's like why not, right? Why not add new streams to your income? And you'll also see that, uh, let me show you here, that the royalties are, are pretty, pretty juicy. So for example, let's say, you know, they automatically put the base price when they converted some of our shirts over at $18.99, which is in my opinion quite high. Uh, if you know that if you go to England, you know that that's that's pretty expensive, for sure. Um, Eighteen ninety nine. That translates to about six dollars and some change. So that's as if you're pricing your shirt at um, let's see, <laughs> I, I'm guessing like twenty bucks, which is a high priced shirt for the for the U.S. market, right? So it's more like if you're pricing it at about twenty one dollars. Right, so so the royalties are, are more generous in the UK. Uh, in EU, it's it's pretty similar, I believe. Yeah, not such a big difference. Um, so I just wanted to point that out that there's some there's some royalty differences, and then also another thing to notice is that when we go into here and actually start to search the top, let's search the top 1,000 bestsellers within one to 100,000 BSR. Uh, as far as I am aware of, the BSR for UK and Germany uh, have different. Uh, they don't translate exactly to the same as the US. So if you go here to the Jungle Scout Estimator and you type in United States, let's say this, 
100,000 BSR for clothing. That equates to, they're saying this is about three sales a day. Uh, I don't, I haven't seen that to be the case with my shirts, but so take this with a grain of salt. But now check it out. If you go UK, oh wait, let's select clothing again, and you do 100,000, it's less than five. And then if you go Germany, you do 100,000 for the Bekleidung. It's seven. You see how there's a discrepancy? So it's kind of a, it's important to know when you're looking at the BSR uh, what that translates to. Now, what you'll always see Shane Dawson just dominate every merch thing. So I'm going to delete that really quick using this Dawson and search it again. So now we've omitted his results. Now let's check this out. This is really cool. This one, Keep Steam Locomotives Alive for Railway Enthusiasts, uh, is right now the number one merch seller. Um, that's not a brand, right? So that's not a brand in the UK. Uh, so that's fascinating, right? So now what we would do is we would basically take out our, uh, oh, I'm getting the, the two things. What we would do is we, we would take out, I've got this recording thing here, and we would go railway train, and we keep going. By the way, this Uncle Shark thing, infringing, so I, I wouldn't touch it because it's from a viral video that they own the, the copyrights to. I've sold in the UK uh, shirts pertaining to, to dates and anniversaries around September, October, things like that. So I can see why that is selling. Um, this is selling. These kind of, uh, you know, years or dates sell as well. Greyhound tricks. So let's just write that here. Greyhound dogs. Right? We go down. See, look, another anniversary shirt. Ice Ice Baby. I've never known what to do with that. <laughs> Feels like it's trademark. Okay, here. Cornish to the core. So Cornwall is so is another place in um, in England. Oh wow, it's a pretty long video already, seven minutes. It's another place. That, <laughs> it's just a chain right now that um, seems to be getting some good results, right? So I would write Cornwall Cornish shirts, okay? And at the top, I'm just gonna go UK. And then if you want to, as uh, Neil Lassen, the guy who created uh, Merch Forum, released this update. If you scroll all the way down, people are not doing that, right? But these are still selling. Uh, and you just double check. Okay, interesting. I just want to see how the... Uh, I'm not sure what this is. It seems like these have stopped selling. Okay, this is good. Ice Bear believes in you. Why is this selling? Oh, interesting. Okay, so you can go down and start to go up and get a general sense of what sells in the UK, right? So Viking stuff, so I would put that there. Viking, astronaut, that's cool. Punk, granddad, so granddad, granddad. Punk rock, bull mastiff, so we can go dogs, right? And then we go bull mastiff. Okay, so this is basically how I... <laughs> That's funny. Oktoberfest. Funnily enough, Oktoberfest sells more outside for the apparel outside of Germany than uh, in Germany, even though people would assume otherwise. This is tra uh, infringing on Wolfpack, which is an artist, so I wouldn't do that. I love playing cards. Star Trek is has Star Trek there. Sharks. Ten. So basically, anniversary. I'm gonna put it there. Anniversary birthday shirts. We got unicorns as huge. Cheryl, <laughs> that's funny. I guess that's a uh, discover loves pigs. Unicorns, people, not a big fan. Gay pride. All right. Okay, so you got the general gist, right? And then I just go through it, and all of a sudden you have. We're not trying to guess as such what uh, the UK market buys. We want to uh, see what is already selling. You just want to see where customers are putting their money. They're, they're, what they're buying is showing you, it's like a compass that's pointing to where the demand is, right? Prisoner mate. I saw a few of those, so I'm adding that. Wolf, sharks, Germany. Okay, yeah, I would write Oktoberfest because it's probably going to be big for next month. Okay, that's the general idea. So now let's jump to, and you can also, sorry for that, you can also do this, 100,000 above. Uh, smaller sellers, but still valid. Let's go to Germany really quick. So let's search it up. And now just keep in mind that 
the, there's a translation issue as well. If you just look at the keywords here, like the most popular keywords, uh, they're just German, right? Geburtstag, I think that's birthday. Geschenk is a gift. Uh, Mädchen, the, that's supposed to be, I think, girls, but there's no A. Stuff like that. Okay, look, again, dates, anniversary shirts, selling well. Let's just see what this BSR is in Germany, 17. All right, let's try this, 17,600 Germany. Okay, that's not bad. It's selling almost two a day. But as you can see, the best-selling uh, merch shirt in Germany has nothing on the best-selling merch shirt or something with this BSR in uh, the U.S., right? Because if we go to the U.S. now, clothing. Uh, um, gosh, yeah, <laughs> there you go. So then I would go down and just, okay, 90s, retro. 90s is a thing in, in Germany for some reason. Um, okay, Werner, da da da. Gymnastics, again, anniversary dates. Ping pong, interesting. So puns, nerdy puns. Again, these kind of like, I'm gonna write that down. So we got Germany. Ping pong, anniversary, birthday. Shirts. Uh, guitar, I've seen that quite a bit. A lot, by the way, of these kind of nerdy um, computer gamer kind of jokes. That's a big thing. Yeah, they are programmers, so I'm going to write that. So, programmer geek shirts. So now, if you know, uh, watch the video on fattening niches, I'm going to stop the video here because it's getting long. You'll know that um, it's very important to, whenever you enter niches, if you have the slots to kind of carve uh, a space in the niche for you by offering a lot of different options, right? So you have more hooks in the, in the market that can increase your sales. So what I would do is basically look at what are, the, what are themes in these two countries, UK or, or Germany. Let's say in UK you pick this one, Cornwall Cornish shirts. What I would do is I would enter the Cornwall Cornish knit, niche or niche, knowing that the market sells and try to create as many different uh, cool cornwall designs as I can and carve out a piece of the pie just for me, right? It's called fattening the niche. And say I would go into Germany, what I'm gonna do there is look at, I've, I've seen a lot of like, like programmer geek shirts, right? Um, and I'll, this is kind of like sassy humor. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Looks exactly like one of my shirts. Um, and then basically carve out a space in that niche, just making like, you know, quirky puns or programmer insider like phrases uh, to, to be or not to be, things like that. Go, to be or not to. Uh, there's, there's some programming phase that makes a pun on like Shakespeare. Okay, so that's, so that's how you approach thematically these two countries. You see what's selling and then you carve out a niche in there and keep giving offerings to a market that's already buying. Okay, all right, that's not. So I'll go crazy here. Let's keep this short. Thank you very much for watching. Um, this is the power of, of Merch Informer to give you in just in a flash the hottest shirts at the top, the, the best selling shirts. And I feel bad for the people who are selling the most, but that's the price to pay for, uh, for when, you, when you're competing with organic traffic to people um, is that everyone can see your shirt. So the minute you, oh, there you go, good old Trumpkin. The minute you make a, a drop in BSR, all of a sudden it pops up a merchant form where everyone sees it, everyone copies it. And so it's kind of important to have, uh, to, for one, have a fat niche, two, have a very large spread of evergreen designs so that you're not reliant on one shirt uh, for all your sales. And all right, I'm gonna wrap this up here. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to let me know in the comments below anything uh, that crosses your mind. Um, and once again, talk soon.